Lee. J Rock James, come back to you too. What is happening and in and in with the millions <laughs> and millions of J-Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J-Rock is here, continuing on with his fight scene. But this time, we gonna add some gunfights to this mix, baby. All right, the top ten gunfights in movies. All right, the thumbnail lets you know which one is in there, and it happens to be one of J-Rock's favorite movie series. All right, and definitely um, can't wait till they drop John Wick 4. All right, it's supposed to come out next year, I think. But whenever it drops, J-Rock is going to be watching it as well. But with that being said, we're not going to waste any more time, baby. Let's check out these top 10 gunfights. You got any gunfights and movie scenes that you want J-Rock to react to, drop a link to it down below and let your great one know. And if he chooses your request, you'll get a shout-out right from the great one himself, okay? All right, come on, let's do the damn thing. Ah, uh, yeah. Ha ha! Say hello to me, the press racing look. Good old fashioned gunfight sequence. The thrill of guns blasting all around, but the protagonist shooting like a pro makes for some of the most popcorn worthy moments in movies. And that's why today I've decided to compile a list of some of the best gunfight sequences in Hollywood. Hey, everyone. And welcome to the TV region. In this video, join me as I list down some of my favorite gunfight moments through the years. Make sure you watch these movies if you enjoy bullets and high-end weaponry. Let's go. Damn. Oh, wanted. At number 10, Wesley's gun rampage scene from the 2008 flick, Wanted. In this particular shootout scene with Cross, Wesley breaks into a hideout run by the killer and engages in a brutal gunfight with his gang. Making full use of his precision and inborn talent for hitting the bullseye, Damn. Wesley progresses from the midst of a whole room for oh, yeah. shooters and killing everyone with his shots. The scene even witnesses the brutal killing of one of Cross's gang members as Wesley blows his brains out through his eye. The protagonist is shot in the shoulder by Cross soon after, but he manages to escape into fatal injuries by sliding low on the ground and then swinging across the room using a hand of light. The entire setting is pretty dramatic and yet quite fulfilling from a thrill point of view. <laughs> Looks like you are shit out of luck, beautiful. Now I'm gonna give you your C-section. <laughs> you son of a bitch! At number nine, the shoot opening up. scene from the legendary action movie Shoot 'em Up. With the opening scene revolving around a pregnant lady delivering a baby in the midst of a shootout, you know you're in for a packed two hour session of guns and bullets. This classic with a twist opens at a bus stop in a rough part of town with a carrot eating drifter named Smith spotting a pregnant woman on the verge of giving birth while fleeing a hitman. Following them into a warehouse, Mr. Smith watches the hitman threatens to kill the woman, but he intervenes killing the hitman by stabbing him in the face with a carrot and retrieves the woman's pistol. As more thugs arrive, the woman goes into labor and Smith delivers her baby boy during an exciting shootout. Cutting the umbilical cord by shooting it straight through, Smith continues to blast his way holding the newborn in his arms. Pursued by head assassin Hertz, the woman is shot and killed, but Smith narrowly escapes with the newborn. <laughs> oh yeah, John Wick. Number eight has the red circle scene from John Wick. The scene opens with John Wick entering the red circle. He shoots his way through bodyguards. John manages to kill them all before they can harm him. With people all around screaming in fear, John shoots his way through defenses. Briefly pausing to examine his injuries, John tries to proceed with his pursuit, but one of the bodyguards throws him over the railing to ah. the below. Though he is severely injured by now, John quickly gets up and continues with his rampage. Oh, you need to watch the movie to know what happens next. 
Victor's dead. Say hello to my love friend. Say hello to my little friend. And now, get ready for the little friend scene from the 1983 mega movie Scarface. One of the most coveted actors of all time is Al Pacino, and when Al Pacino holds a gun. It's a sight to watch. This scene from the movie Scarface is one of the few classical ones to have thrilled me enough to make a position on this list. Appearing at the end of the movie, in this particular scene, Al Pacino, who is portraying the part of Tony Montana, is surrounded by attackers at his It's not Tony Montana, it's Tony Montana. And Tony's the only one left to face the barrage of bullets awaiting him outside. That's when he decides to bring out his little friend, which is a grenade launcher equipped M16A1 mows down many of his attackers in a second. While he manages to shoot several of the men approaching, he is repeatedly shot by the remaining attackers, but continues to taunt them until he is fatally shot from behind by the shotgun-wielding assassin known as the Skull. Finally, his corpse falls into a fountain below in front of a statue with the inscription, The World is Yours. I gotta go back watch that movie again, man. Yeah, this is a movie with the, the the little girl. At number six, we have the professional, professional. Leon. Okay, I can can not think of the name of it. Head on. While the professional Leon was filled with violence, the movie's unique plot hit a chord with the audience and made it a huge success. This particular scene from the movie witnesses Jean Reno, who portrayed the role of Leon Montana, trying to save Matilda, who is captured by an NYPD ESU team sent by Stansfield. Leon is perched atop the corridor ceiling, making it a perfect hideout for him as the NYPD team approaches. As the remaining policemen try to approach, Leon quickly steps towards them and points a gun to the first one's head. He then makes the policeman his shield and steps back as Matilda gets a hold of an axe. Both Leon and Matilda shut themselves inside an apartment as the remaining policemen launch a barrage of bullets at them. Is this? It's a 90, 80s and 90s movie, that's for sure. Number five holds the heist shootout scene from Heat. Heat, okay. In this one, as Val Kilmer portraying Chris makes his way out of the bank with a bag full of money on his shoulder, a horde of armed policemen are waiting across the street to take him down. The shooting begins as soon as Chris spots them with the people all around ducking to save their lives. Within seconds, several more policemen join in and Chris is left to face them alone. The story isn't over yet. Chris manages to enter the car waiting for him, which already has Robert De Niro, sitting inside and the policemen with Al Pacino at their lead begin pursuit. Soon, the driver of the speeding car is shot dead, and the burglars, who include Chris and Neil, are forced to face the police on foot. With more and more bullets flying around, Chris and Neil manage to hold the police off for a few more minutes until a bullet hits Chris in the shoulder. Neil manages to lift Chris up, and take him through while still shooting down a policeman. He eventually finds a getaway car and speeds off with Al Pacino looking on. The third burglar is left behind, but he takes a child hostage, and Al Pacino is forced to take a shot at them, which thankfully hits the burglar, and the child escapes unhurt. Damn. Not yet. Desperado. At number four, the bar shootout scene from the classic Desperado. Desperado. Now, this Can't is a personal it. favorite. Just movie. It. The combination ah, of style and thrill portrayed in this movie is hard to Desperado. miss. As Antonio Those Banderas makes an me. armed man inside the ah. bar. Y'all don't even know who's saying that. Y'all don't even know who does that song. He has two guns hiding in his sleeves, which he promptly slides up and hits him with multiple shots. Within seconds, several other men throw their tables down and take out their large guns hiding beneath. Banderas takes shelter behind the bartender's table and keeps shooting back. With the armed men approaching the table, the hero has a tough choice to make. He slides out of the table on his back while repeatedly shooting at the men, taking three down. He then climbs the table 
He uses both his hands to shoot out bullets as easily as knocking punches until his guns are empty. Jumping to the floor and refueling just in time, he manages to kill another attacker in midair, while the bartender tries to get his hands on a gun. But Banderas points his muzzle at him and prevents him from taking a shot. Another attacker enters the bar shooting, and Banderas manages to defend himself until both men's guns are empty, and they're forced to fight barehanded. <laughs> At number three, watch the unexpected gunfight sequence from Equilibrium. Equilibrium was one of those movies that prompted your thinking and imagination while giving your adrenaline enough material to go berserk. In this scene, a high ranking official John Preston is in the middle of a shootout. Dressed in all white, representing his rebellion against the emotionless culture of black, John progresses by killing everyone around him with his bullets. As he is faced with more and more shooters inside a lobby, his impeccable shooting skills and martial arts knowledge are evident with the way he walks on calmly, shooting people along the way. Mm. The scene has been executed ah, nice. with utmost style, bringing it in the same league as the Matrix trilogy. Only slightly different. Commando. Number two witnesses the commando rampage scene. With goons having kidnapped Colonel John Matrix's daughter, the army man has no option but to enter the lair of the dragon and save his little girl. A heavily guarded mansion comparing to a fortress awaits him with armed men manning each nook and cranny of the building. Watching one guy take on so many men is exhilarating and kind of amusing at the same time. Yeah, right. But let's focus on the moment. Through the madness, the colonel manages to enter a closed shed, which is shattered by bullets from the guards, but he miraculously escapes unhurt by clinging onto the ceiling. He then progresses by killing more guards on his way through bullets, as well as through his bare superhuman hands finally killing the kingpin and moving in to save his daughter. Blossom Sting Bennett. There it is! You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. And finally, at number one, we have the lobby shootout scene from The Matrix. The Matrix was one of the most fashionably thrilling movies of all time. Dressed in shiny black attire, complete with state-of-the-art weapons, the leading cast gave out a different glow altogether. The lobby shootout scene is one of the most memorable ones from the first movie of the trilogy. The shootout begins as soon as Neo tries to make his way past the guards to save Morpheus. While he and Trinity kill everyone at the entrance, a whole army comes forth in the lobby to stop them. The duo then progress to dodge bullets and defeat every single one of them either by shooting at them, or by kicking their way past them, all in the utmost style. Trinity somersaults in midair while Neo shoots like a pro to get past the army, never missing a shot. Wow, I'm done. Don't forget to let me know which moment was your favorite from the list. Please like, share, and subscribe to TV Regent, and hit the bell icon to never miss my new uploads. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and you can also contribute to my Patreon. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the TV. J Rock says this. Uh, my favorite one, obviously, it had to be uh, the John Wick. One. The Matrix was a, a close second, but the most, the uh, the most badass scene. Oh, it's Scarface. It's Scarface. I mean, he just, he was like, you know what, y'all coming for me? Okay. Say hello to my little friend. And his name is not Tony Montana, okay? It's Tony Montana. That's how you say his name, okay? Get it right. Uh, but which one was your favorite? Which scene was yours? Post comments down below. I'll let J-Rock know what your reaction was to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time.
Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. If you smile with J Rock is crazy.